YouTube, we are back for the attack. And what are we doing? We're working on the interior pages of the Action Comics number 66. Last upload, we leaf casted the first wrap and that half wrap. And now what I'm doing is I'm going over the other interior wraps that have any rips or issues with them, and I'm repairing them not using leaf casting. So how am I doing it? I'm doing it by using Tengojo paper, and I'm using methyl cellulose. I'm not using any type of wheat paste, which is also a good adhesive that you can use in conservation because it will be eliminated with water, but the same with methyl cellulose. So I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there is a rip here and follow my bone and it ends right here. I repaired this already with the Tingojo paper. It's still a little damp here so there is some discolorization, but not much. So if I flip it around, maybe the rip will be more visible. It's right here. And I repaired it off camera, but I wanna show you how I do this, how I repair rips with the Tengojo paper and methyl cellulose. So we're, we're gonna work on this one right here, because I just noticed there's a rip right here. As you can see, the camera is picking it up. And if you don't fix that, what will happen is while you're wasting your time conserving a book, because it will only get worse. Even though this book may be entombed in a CGC case, I like to work with the philosophy that it's not going to be entombed and it is going to be red. So how are we gonna fix this, this rip right here? I'll show you. It's really simple. And I hope by me showing you how I do it that if there is any rips in any of, you, any of your books in the interior pages, you should just fix them without the use of archival tape. Because archival tape sucks. It's the same thing as regular tape. The adhesive is the same thing, and it's hard to get off. This stuff right here, the way I do it, it comes off one, two, three with the use of water. So how am I going to do this? What I do is very simply take my brush. I dipped it in the methyl cellulose, and then all you want to do is you want to brush it along the rip, just like that without any type of Tengojo paper, nothing. You just want to put the methyl cellulose first, just like that. Now, after applying the methyl cellulose, you want to take your Tengojo paper and let's just rip a piece off. Everything is ripping. So I have a piece right here, okay? I don't know if the camera's picking it up, maybe if I take this light off of it, but this is the Tengojo paper. So what I wanna do is, let's flatten it out, let's make it straight on the bottom, okay? Then what you're gonna do is, you wanna try to make it the size relative up to the rip. Then all you do is just place it on the actual methyl cellulose wet, and that's it at this juncture. Then maybe you just wanna put a little bit more on top, just in the area that you put the Tengojo paper, and you want it to be flat. I just messed it up a little bit, no big deal. So you wanna to brush towards it. So that's done, and you may be saying, well, Jerry the Jitterbug, what the heck? You didn't even paint the whole area with methyl cellulose. You have all this loose fibers right here. That's fine. 
because we're going to come back and we're going to do step two. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So then after you put the adhesive on and the Tengojo paper, you just take your spoon and you rub it in nice with the spoon, just like this, not meanly. You rub it in nicely. You really want to get it pressed in there. You can remove the Reme paper and you'll see I repaired it. It's nice and tight now. With that, then you put a paper towel, boom, boom, boom. Then what's important is that you take a piece of glass, just like that. And then on the piece of glass, you want to put a weight. And I'll use an old heavy hand. I'll put a weight on, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wait until that dries and then I'll show you step two what we're going to do but you want to let that dry for a good two hours after it's dried I'll show you what we do with the remainder of the fibers that I did not actually glue down so stay tuned and with the magic of editing the next step is editing power we are back and the next step is bum 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 we're gonna take the glass off this has been sitting for about an hour and a half everyone and as you can see the actual methyl cellulose dried over the repair that we did so now look we have some loose and i hope the camera is picking it up this is the loose pieces of the tengojo paper so what are we going to do with that what we're going to do is i'm going to take a piece of plastic that i use for the leaf casting and we're going to put it over just like that and then i'm going to brush the tengojo paper that is not glued down then what we do is we are going to take a number 10 blade right here and then i just rub it i put my hand or my bone this is called a bone we will put it on top of the repair that we did and put pressure on it and then what I'll do is I'll fray the pieces of Tengojo paper and we'll just shave it off gently, just like that. So basically we're trimming, and you see how it just blew off? We're trimming the Tengojo paper. So that's one side. Now we'll take the other side and I'll lift it up, the pieces that were not glued down. We'll put our plastic down. And then what I'll do is I'll brush it back. And you see right there that there's more that we're gonna have to give it a haircut. And then we just take the blade after putting the, the bone down and I'll shave it off with the razor blade. And this is making a nicer repair, which is seamless to a degree. You'll always see it, but we're trying to make it a little bit better. We'll put the plastic down. I will take the knife and you can use your hand too. And we'll just scrape with the blade the excess Tengojo paper. And then if there's more here, look at that, see that? We'll put it down. And I hope the camera's picking this up. You know, it's, it's not that easy to record all these things. So then I'll flatten it out. I don't like this piece here. Sometimes you can just rub the blade against it. 
and then you just use your nail and you want to spread it out. Very delicate. So right there, I just trimmed up the pieces of the Tengojo paper. And I see a few pieces here. You can just rip it as well. But you want to try to eliminate as much as the excess that you have. And if there are fibers going on each direction, you want that because that will create a better repair for the conservation. Okay, so I did that. Now, what we do is we take our brush and we take a little more methyl cellulose and we're gonna do one other application. And you wanna go away from where the rip is on each direction with the methyl cellulose. And I hope you watching this, you're not thinking this guy is crazy. He's really gonna do all this work to repair a little rip in the comic. And the answer to you would be yes, because this is how you do it. And then what I'll do is I will go back and we will take our piece of Reme and we'll put it down and then we'll see where the rip is and the rips right there. So I'm going to go a little bit on each side with the bone, with the round portion. We're not going to use the spoon and then we can use the spoon and we're just going to press it down. Then I'll check it and there's your repair. And when this dries, all we do is cut the top with a razor blade and we'll be in good shape. But the key thing is you need to let it dry with the weight on it because the methyl cellulose does add moisture to the page. And by adding moisture, the page will become warped and it will become wrinkled and you want to prevent that at all cost and the weight will allow that to happen so guys i hope you enjoyed this this is how i use tengojo paper and this is how tengojo paper is used with methyl cellulose now if you wanted to you can also use wheat paste uh they're both very good adhesives they're both within the conservation spectrum because they do dissolve with water and the reason why i use the methyl cellulose is because i have it and I, I was a little lazy i didn't feel like mixing up a batch of wheat paste so i use both interchangeably but the methyl cellulose is just as good as the Wheat paste, the only difference is there is a little crystallization using the methyl cellulose, which I don't think will show up in the newsprint in the interior of the book. If I was doing it on the cover, I probably would use the wheat paste because it's more matte in finish when it's dried. So I'm done with this upload. I am going to do this to each and every page once i finish that the next upload with this book is going to be to clean up the cover clean up the leaf casting areas and then after that we'll assemble it i'll show you how i do it and i have a few tricks how i'm going to bend the spine of the book to make it look as best as possible so Thank you for following me. Thank you for your support. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription button. It's free. 50% approximately of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So help me out. Hit that sub button if you enjoy my content. And where else are you going to see such beautiful Golden Age books in the flesh? Thank you very much and stay tuned.